Community benefit requirements have existed for nonprofit hospitals since the 1960s. The Affordable Care Act created new requirements um, that govern nonprofit hospitals' community benefit programming and planning. One is that hospitals have to conduct community health needs assessments every three years and write or update corresponding implementation strategies. Community health needs assessment is the tool by which a hospital assesses and prioritizes the needs of the community. Um, it also is a resource for community members to see the data on their specific community and understand what the needs are of their vulnerable populations, um, what their strengths, their weaknesses are in the health of their community. And it is an opportunity for hospitals to work with different stakeholders within the community to address those community health needs, either working together with other hospitals, working with public health, working with community-based organizations that may already be working to meet the needs of the community. The community health needs assessment that Community Connections conducted with Athens Regional and St. Mary's exemplifies a best practice in conducting community health needs assessments because these two hospitals are serving the same geographic area. Um, they're working together to think about community health needs and strategize how to address those community health needs. Um, community Connections has a history of serving the people in that region, um, particularly the vulnerable populations. So I think that they bring the expertise and knowledge in serving those populations to the community needs assessment process, which is very important. Um, and gathering the input from vulnerable populations, either through surveys or one-on-one -on -one informant interviews, and really articulating in your community health needs assessments um, which, which vulnerable populations you talked with and what their specific needs are is also a best practice in being transparent and clear in your needs assessment in the way that you're going to be addressing the needs of vulnerable populations.